Um, let's talk about Meld. So Meld sure. is a what's a lending borrowing protocol. I want I want to hear it from you, from your perspective. What is Meld, and why are you excited about it? So simply put, I would say, like you said, Meld is a lending uh, and borrowing protocol building on Cardano. And what I love the most about Meld is the fact that they're bridging the gap between the traditional finance space and the um, blockchain or the DeFi space, right? So they're going to be allowing people to do crypto to crypto swaps, right? Which is something that has already been done quite well on Ethereum with the likes of Aave, you know, Compound and all these other DeFi protocols. But on top of that, an area that has not necessarily been touched, right, is the crypto to fiat side. So Meld is going to allow for people to essentially um, take their crypto, right? If they're long on crypto, they'll be able to leverage that crypto that they already own, right, as collateral. They'll be able to borrow against it and take out cash and then be able to use that cash to then actually perform what they want in the real world, right? So you can use that to essentially purchase a house, go grab a burger, go to a ball game, or even, you know, buy trading cards with that, right? So yeah, it, it, it's really bridging the gap there. Um, and once that, once you're done, right, you can pay that fiat back and then you can unlock your crypto. So if you're long on ADA, if you're long on Ethereum, if you're long on Bitcoin and you own these assets already, you don't want to necessarily sell them, right? Um, and then buy back in a later point. You want to just kind of hold them until they appreciate. So Mel does allow people to do that. And then the very last kind of just the cherry on top here for me is that you're not going to be creating any tax events or taxable events, right? Because it's a loan, once you pay it back, you're good, right? Whereas normally if you cash out, you have to pay taxes. And then if you buy back in, then you've got to, you know, literally kind of just take it at whatever the price of the market is. And then if you cash out after that, again, you've got to pay taxes again, right? So I think the fact that it's bridging the gap between TradFi and DeFi is number one. And then, like I said, icing on the cake is the fact that it's not going to create a taxable event and it allows you to stay long on crypto, which hopefully as content creators like yourself and I are here, right? We're here for the long game and we're here for that appreciation over the, the long term. Yeah, that's true. That's well said too. Um, from my perspective, what I liked about Meld, because I got into the ISPO, so I'm going to be able to mint. I think I created three wallets, and then I had one of my buddies. I helped him set up a wallet. So I got in for the bank managers. I even got the diamond mm -hmm. hands. So for the mm -hmm. for those of you that don't know, um, the diamond hands, you got that airdropped if you were into the first epoch. So an epoch is every five days you get rewarded with the new supply but in this case an ispo you get rewarded with the new token which was meld right so that's over um what were your thoughts on the the art for the bank managers i kind of wanted your thoughts because they just released the art do you think they look good now do you think they look um like cooler than than what they originally were going to do yeah sure so i just want to just just add a little bit of clarification there um as you mentioned, the Diamond Hands was rewarded to uh, members within the community who participated in the ISPO. Now, I think that the Diamond Hands did require a little bit longer time for stake, uh, not for staking, but for delegating. I think it was 30 yeah. epochs and then the bank manager was a single epoch. So just a minor clarification there. I think you, yeah. you may have used the word Diamond Hand instead of um, bank manager. So not a big deal there, but oh, let me actually share my screen. No, completely fine. Um, I'm just going to share my screen here and I'm actually on the Meld website now showing the uh, latest version of the bank manager NFT. So as it pertains to my thoughts, man, I mean, it, it's crazy, right? Because I saw the very first iteration, which popped up very early on. Um, I think there were a total of four different iterations, right? So the very first one was very hyper realistic. Um, they had, you know, a, a guy, girl, um, they even had rep representations of Ken Oling, who was their CEO. And they had plans to also have rep representations of like Vitalik, who's like the the kind of leading head and Charles Hoskinson, you know, for these different projects. Right. So I was yeah. super excited when when they were first announced and I was in love with all of the iterations of the art. Right now, they went through a second iteration because obviously, you know, there was, I think, 42,000 participants as a part of the ISPO, which means that this is like one of the largest NFT collections that's going to be minting on Cardano. So you can imagine the amount of effort that would go into creating that many variations of an NFT. So when, you know, they had an issue, not an issue, but whenever the the first designer was was not essentially able to kind of like follow through, 
it, it made sense to me, right? I kind of understood like that's that's a pretty heavy task to, to kind of deal with. Now that said, uh, we did see like an additional um, iteration about, I want to say like three or four months ago. And I was also a fan of that, but this particular version that was just most recently released, man, I think it, it hits on a different note, man. So I, I want to say I like it, but I like it for different reasons than I like the original ones. Like the original ones, they were great, you know, but they, they almost just kind of look like um, traditional game characters. Or like if, you, if you've ever played Fortnite, anything like that, it, it kind of looked like characters from, from those games, which again, it's not, it's not a, a negative thing. But what we have now, I think is a first. Like I have not seen a single other NFT that looks exactly like the Meld Bank managers that we have right now, right? So uh, the art style, you know, how it's actually painted and then the colors, man, it's not a traditional color scheme, right? Like the, the, the original yeah. set was just human-like, very human-like. So we, we kind of knew what to expect and you had something to kind of compare against, right? Like what you and I look like because they looked like you and I. This one here is just kind of setting the bar at a completely different yeah. level in the sense that like it's completely brand new. And so I will say I like it. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to finally being able to mint one and being able to use it on the Melt platform, man. Yeah, I was going to say I was pretty impressed with it, too. Um, whoever did the art, incredible. I'm pretty pretty excited about it. Um, yes. Now, if you were to get the gold one, would you sell it right away or would you hold on to it? That's And, and that, what do you think it would go for? What do you think it would go for? Yeah, no, let, let, let me explain to you what's going on in my mind. And obviously, this is purely speculation here, so don't take this you know, as financial advice. But we yeah. have the bank managers, right? Which required staking for one epoch. Not too difficult to do. There's 40, 42,000 plus supply. Then you've got the diamond hands, right? Which would have required about 30 times the effort, right? Um, if you did the yeah. bare minimum to earn the bank manager. So that increase increases the level, right? Of, um, it, 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 it makes it that much harder to earn. That said, there's only 4,600 of those. So you've got 10 X less the supply, right? So if you compare the, the diamond, diamond hands, hands. Yeah. Yeah. yes, correct. You, you've got, you know, 4,600 of those compared to the 42,000 of the bank managers. That said, right, your question is about the golden ones. If we're looking at that, you've only got 10 of those, right? So now you're looking at such a small set that anybody who understands what Meld is going to be building should be holding them for a very, very long time. Now, granted, right now, um, within the Cardano space and within the crypto space, it's a lot of us, I don't, I don't want to call us small fish, but if we're just being, you know, nice, right? We're not institutions. We don't have institutional money. Once institutions come into the space, right, and they understand what Meld is doing and the benefits of these NFTs in terms of savings, right? Imagine being able to take a million dollar loan from Meld, right, given that there's enough liquidity, and then being able to get a 1% reduction, right, in terms of the loan interest rate that yeah. comes out to a nice amount right so that at a very minimum that math right there hopefully it made sense um really just kind kind of goes to show me like how useful this nft can be in the future so i would say right now man if if i land a golden one i'm not letting it go for years i'm not e even if i get offers i'm not willing to let it go and yeah. i'm just going to kind of end this on on a separate note right i want to talk about another project here if you don't mind yeah, but yeah, for sure. Cardano NFTs, man, right? Like we, we look at the potential. If you're not familiar with the Ape Society, look at what they're doing there, right? They're a very simple project that launched. I believe the collection is about um, 7,000 apes, right? And they've got a, a cabin collection as well with about 10,000 cabins. Granted, those minted at a price of 100 ADA, okay? They were the first project to break over. Yeah, they were the first project to break over the 10K mark. And now they're sitting no problem at 10k at the max i believe they hit it was 16 or 17,000 ada so again it really goes to show you the power and the utility of nfts once the um the eyes and the utility has actually been delivered so right now we haven't actually been able to get our hands on the bank managers we haven't been able to actually use the diamond hands to get the feeless banking right but wait until that comes and then wait until there's actual liquidity and there's an actual running protocol. I think that's when we're really going to see the benefit of the bank managers, especially the golden ones. There you go. And that's why you're DAP Central, right? You have all this knowledge on this.